Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the HTTP webhooks ChatGPT plugin that you can use to write, deploy and manage HTTP webhooks in JavaScript right from your ChatGPT account. Right before I would show you an actual example on how to use the HTTP, HTTP, HTTP webhooks plugin in your ChatGPT account, I just want to sh quickly share some of the use cases you can use this plugin for. I have an article on this plugin that you can check out where I also share some of the best use cases. And as you can see, you can use it to create a webhook that sends an email notification whenever a specific event occurs. You can use this to create webhooks to interrogate data from different systems like a CRM system. You can use this to create webhooks to provide real-time updates. You can create a webhook that automatically posts to social media whenever a new blog post is published on your website and so on and so forth. In the article, I also share some example prompts you can use this plugin with. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. But now let's see an example on how to use the HTTP Webhooks ChatGPT plugin. So before you would be able to use the plugin, you have to make sure that plugins are enabled in your ChatGPT account. And also you have to be, of course, a ChatGPT Plus subscriber currently to be able to access and use ChatGPT plugins like the HTTP Webhooks plugin. Then click on new chat. And once you clicked a new chat, make sure that GPT-4 is selected from the model selector. Then you also have to install the plugin then. And you can do that by clicking on this down arrow here and if you do not see HTTP webhooks in the installed plugin list, you have to scroll down and click on plugin store and install the plugin. Last but not least, once the plugin is installed, you also have to enable the plugin and you can enable any plugin by clicking the checkbox next to the name of the plugin. So as an example, we're gonna use this test prompt so I can demonstrate how this plugin works. So as you can see, you can add the instruction to set up a test webhook to create a super ticket in your customer service platform when a user submits a submit request. Use dummy variable where necessary. Then click on send message here and ChatGPT will go and create an HTTP webhooks for us. As you can see, you don't have to use any kind of code or function here. ChatGPT will be able to use the natural language to be able to add instructions to the HTTP webhooks plugin. And now as you can see, it has exactly done that, so it has set up a test webhook for us. Here are the details. The name of the webhook is support ticket creation. This is the ID. This is the URL. We can check out the script. The script for this webhook is designed to create a support ticket when a user submits a support request. It expects a JSON payload with title, description, and user fields. Please note that this is just a dummy setup and doesn't actually create a ticket in your customer service platform. So you can also check out the webhook here and all in all this is how to use the HTTP webhooks check GPT plugin. If you want to learn more about the other ChatGPT plugins, I have a ton of tutorials on my YouTube channel that you can check out and more are coming up. So make sure to subscribe. And also if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.